I'm here at Christie's London getting the chance to see the personal collection of one of the world's most stylish and iconic movie stars, Audrey Hepburn. And it is a very personal collection. We have the clothes she wore, her luggage, her shoes, her jewellery, her annotated movie scripts and all of these gorgeous photographs, not just of her in her most famous roles, but also relaxing behind the scenes on set. I feel with Audrey Hepburn we have to start with the clothes. I just can't get over how modern they seem. There's a kind of timelessness and simplicity that gets right to the heart of Hepburn's elegance and the quintessence of chic. And then we have so many of the Hepburn staples, the minimalist coat, the little black dress. Oh, look at this. When Audrey starred in Roman Holiday, which was her first studio movie, she won an Oscar for it, she got her first paycheck. And what did she buy with that? She bought a Givenchy Couture coat, as you would. And that then led to a collaboration that lasted for the rest of her career. Givenchy used to say that Audrey would take off a dress anything that wasn't sewn on, but less was definitely more. So I'm glad that these feathers made the cut because they are really fabulous. So I've been joined now by Adrian Hume Sayer, who is the Christie's expert, lucky enough to be heading up this amazing sale. Adrian, a bit of a dream gig? Absolutely, it was not love, it's Audrey, incredible. And it's filled with wonderful treasures, but what's at the heart of it? What makes it so special? Well, what makes it so special is not only these things, things that she owned, used, lived with, it's a personal collection, stayed with her throughout her life. These are her own things, not things that she gave away, but things that she kept, and I think that's so wonderful. Obviously the sale is filled with wonderful treasures, but what's at the centrepiece of it all? The centrepiece of it is really, for me, is the scripts. We've got the scripts from most of her key films, including Sabrina, My Fair Lady and Breakfast at Tiffany's. Which we have in our midst here, do, which is giving do. me actual goosebumps. <laughs> her handwriting's all over it, her annotations are all over it, but also you find that she underlines a lot. And there's a couple of scenes you, you watch back and you see where she's underlined is actually where she places the emphasis on the words, which is so magical because it sort of takes you to that moment. She's marking up the script. You think of her there on set and it's just, it's oh, fantastic. It's fantastic. Goosebumps. Absolutely. Thank you. My pleasure. Audrey Hepburn only made 20 films in her career, which was comparatively few when you think about other big movie stars of the day. But one of her most famous roles, and one that she desperately wanted, was Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady. Now, it was another actress, Julie Andrews, who played that role in the stage version, but when it came to making the film, the studio wanted a star, and so they cast Hepburn. Now, the press drummed up a bit of a scandal before the film even opened when they discovered that Audrey's vocals had been dubbed over. But happily, Hepburn hung on to the originals and, amazingly, they are here as part of the Christie's sale. So what I really love about this room is how you get a sense of Audrey off duty, Audrey at home. This is very much her personal style. It's not about the red carpet, it's about what she was comfortable in. Got her lipstick and some handbags, lots of shoes. Salvatore Ferragamo was a great favourite. You've got some very cool Givenchy red pumps there, but of course, the signature ballet pump. Now, generations of women have got Audrey Hepburn to thank for the fact that we do have a stylish alternative to heels, and I, for one, will always be grateful for that. And I love the fact that in this room, you've got the things that she was hanging out in at home, the things that she would do her beloved gardening in but they are still effortlessly chic. And they still have that Audrey Hepburn magic.